Hey YouTube, it's Patrick. Uh, I'm not gonna. I wasn't gonna put up any reviews until next week because I'm gonna be doing the True Blood finale, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna see Warrior this weekend, so I figured I'd put that up. Uh, but Warrior actually got me kind of thinking that uh, I should maybe talk about seeing as Warrior for me is the start of the Oscar season. Well, hopefully, uh, I figured I should talk about what I've liked so far this year. And to be honest, there's only two movies that I've seen that have stood out above, like, the rest. And they're two pretty polar opposite movies. Uh, they're Super 8 and one I just saw, which is uh, Tree of Life. Super 8, for me, was the only film that I saw this summer that, when it was over, I didn't think, oh, that was really good, it could have been better. Uh, what I mean by that is I saw, you know, everything was like between what it was Thor or Captain America or Cowboys and Aliens or Harry Potter or, you know, whatever else. I enjoyed a lot of things this summer, but I either thought, oh, that was good, it should have been really good, though. Or that was really good, it should have been great. That one's for Harry Potter. It was really good, should have been great, wasn't. Really good. Um, but Super 8, I, when it was over, I was like, you know what, that was really good. That's it. That was really good. It was the first movie that when it was over, I was like, I will be picking that up on Blu-ray. So I knew that was my favorite movie so far of the year. I saw Tree of Life the other day. It was a bit of a mess. I love Terrence, Ma Terrence Malick's stuff. Um, if anyone hasn't seen Tree of Life, I'm not going to explain what it's about. Because I really don't know. Well, it's about life. It's about how you go through life and... Yeah, forget, so you know, forget it, forget it. Uh, the movie is told in three different sections. One is Brad Pitt in the fit Brad Pitt and uh, his wife Jessica Chastain, I think her name's pronounced in the fifties. That segment, that whole part of the movie is amazing. Then there's like the nature documentary part of the movie, which is beautiful, but uh, you know I get why it's there, but I don't know. Maybe I don't get it. You know what? No, forget it. I don't get it. Um, and then everything with Sean Penn is just not very good. Uh, and from what I hear, that was supposed to be a much longer part of the film, which makes sense, because Malick's film was probably like six, seven hours, that he cuts down to three. Um, yeah, it was still really well done, and it's still my second favorite movie of the year, just for the Brad Pitt-like section, the, the everything in the 50s. Um, I'd really, I wouldn't mind sitting down over the course of, you know, maybe like two days and watch like the really like full cut of the movie, which might be like six or seven hours. Um, I'm sure that that would be pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, it's, I just thought it was weird that, to say that those are my, f my favorite two movies of the year, Super 8 and Tree of Life. But they are. Um, and, uh, like I said, the Oscar season's coming up. There's two films in September. Well, there's three films in September that I want to see. Two of them are, like, way up here for me that I want to see. The third one is actually called 50-50, with uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen and um, uh, what, uh, Anna Kendrick. Um, it's about uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character. He gets He's, like, 26 years old, and he has, like, spinal cancer, and it's about him going through everything. It's supposed to be, like, kind of like a dramedy, except actually more drama than the commercials are promising. Uh, it's supposed to be amazing, so uh, I'm looking forward to that one this September. Uh, like I said, I'm going to see Warrior this weekend, which I can't wait for. I hear nothing but great things about it, comparing it to, like, Rocky and other stuff, but, like, legitimate. Uh, so we'll see. I love Tom Hardy. Um, so we'll see. Uh, the other one is Drive, which I know, you've, if you've seen our channel, we've had some stuff from Drive soundtrack up on there with... Uh, Drive uh, stars Ryan Gosling and Carey Mulligan and Brian Cranston and Ron Perlman and Alec and uh, Albert Brooks. Its uh, director is a director of Bronson. If you have not seen Bronson, you need to see Bronson. That's all I need to say about that. Um, what else? Yeah, so that's why I want to see Drive. And I listen to some of Drive's soundtrack, which if you listen to Drive's soundtrack, you will want to see it. Otherwise, you know, go listen to... Katy Perry. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for this little short thing. I figured I'd just let you guys know where I'm at, or just um, you know, put something up so it's not like one thing a week. Uh, Alright. Well, just checking in. Let me know what's going on. Later.